2013. High school, rainbow, violence. Where powerful minds collide. Will it be Giles, or will it be Bainbridge? Who will be triumphant, and who will fall to defeat? Now, let the battle begin. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ricky Bell, Director of um, Student Activities for Leon County Schools, and I will be your host today for our final round of the 2013 Big Ben Brain Bowl. But before we meet our teams, let me introduce our Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Marvin Henderson. Thank you, Mr. Bell. I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2013 High School Big Ben Brain Bowl competition. You know, 36 teams started out this uh, great competition and have done an admirable job, and, but now it's down to two teams, uh, the Childs High School team and the Bainbridge High School team. I'd like to congratulate all of our competitors, their families, teachers, administrators, and the academic coaches in particular for a job well done. Now, we could not do things of this sort, and especially this competition, without uh, the sponsors that we have. Represented here today uh, are Jean Booth from the Tallahassee Democrat, Ms. Nicole McDonald Riles, who's with the Envision Credit Union, and Dean LaBeouf. Uh, he's with the law firm of Brooks, LaBeouf, Bennett, Foster, and Gortney. Additional sponsors include Tallahassee Community College, uh, Refreshment Services, Pepsi, and of course, Leon County Schools. And, you know, just uh, this is a grand occasion. You know, I, anytime we have the battle of wits or the battle of the brains, I always like to be there in case some of that rubs off. At this time, I'd like to turn it back over to Mr. Bell. Thank you, Dr. Henderson. A few people I'd like to introduce, of course, Dr. Robin Leach, who's our moderator. She's always here, done an excellent job. And Dr. Brett Polson, who is the director of this event and has been for many, many years. Thank you so much for everything you do. Now let's turn this over uh, to Dr. Leach to uh, introduce the teams and get this show rolling. Thank you, Ricky. Congratulations to both teams. You're both really strong teams. I know you're going to do a great job today. We're going to start with Bainbridge and like for each player to introduce him or herself and tell us a little bit about yourselves. I'm Quest Brown. I'm in eighth grade. I've been playing Quiz Bowl for six years now. And hey, Ms. Holliday. I'm Jacob Thorne. I'm in 11th grade, and my favorite movie is Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? <clears throat> I'm Eli Poche. I'm a senior, and I'm the captain of the Georgia 5A state champ quiz bowl team. I'm Amanda Wooten. I'm 11th grader at Bainbridge High School, and I've been playing quiz bowl since my freshman year, and I'm really happy to be here. Um, I'm also going to introduce our coach, Mr. Mitch Alday, who wants to say this is for Melissa, and our principal, Mr. Tommy Howell. Welcome to Tallahassee. We're so glad that you're, you're in the finals today. Congratulations. Childs? Um, my name is Jeffrey Zhu, and I am a sophomore at Childs. My name is Jeremy Jones. I am a senior at Childs. My name is Wayne Zhao. I am the captain of the Childs Maroon team, and um, I'm a senior at Childs. <laughs> I am Hannah Williams, and I'm a sophomore as well at Childs. Wayne, you want to introduce your okay, alternates um, and your yes. sponsors? This is Nick Yang, and he is a junior at Childs. And this is Kenneth Zhou. He is a senior at Childs. And our coach is uh, Mr. Schoenberger, to my left. And, <laughs> and right behind me is our principal, Mr. Burgess. Welcome. Congratulations on being here. So if you all want to take your seats, the people in behind, behind the teams will go ahead and get started. Let's do this crazy thing. <clears throat> As uh, was stated, it's a double elimination tournament. Childs, if you win the first game, it's over. Bainbridge, if you win the first game, we go on to a second game with a short break in between. Ready to get started? Good luck to both teams. <clears throat> Toss-up question number one. Which river rises in the Black Forest in southern Germany and flows... Jacob? The Rhine. That's incorrect. In an interruption, I'll read it completely for Childs. 
Which river rises in the Black Forest in southern Germany and flows through five countries and on the border of three others before entering, emptying into the Black Sea? It's Europe's second longest after the Volga. It's commemorated by Johann Strauss in a waltz praising its blue water. Jeffrey? Danube. That's correct. <clears throat> Four-part bonus, five points each. Identify the capitals of the following countries located along the Danube. One, Austria. Two, Hungary. Three, Serbia. Four, Slovakia. Identify the capitals of the following countries located along the Danube. One, Austria. Two, Hungary. Three, Serbia. Four, Slovakia. Yeah, yeah, I got the first yeah, two. Yeah, I got the first two. One is Vienna, two is Budapest. Wait, write it, write it. No, I'll defer to them for time. Oh, right. time. time. So you got one and two correct bounce back for three and four, Bainbridge? Sarajevo and Sarajevo. Incorrect on both of those. Uh, Belgrade and Brat Bratislava. Bratislava, sorry. Childs received 10 points for the toss-up, um, five points for an interruption, and 10 points on the bonus for a total of 25 points in that round. Toss-up number two. What two-word term, beginning with D, is used to designate a method of finding the position of an aircraft or ship without astronomical observations, as by using compass readings and other previously recorded data? Jeremy? Direct observation. That's incorrect. Bainbridge? Time. That was dead reckoning. So no points on that one? Okay. okay. Toss-up number three. What is the molarity of the chloride ions in a 0 0.50 mole solution of barium chloride? Jeremy? One. That's correct. <clears throat> Four-part bonus, five points each. Answer each of the following concerning chemistry. We're continuing with our chemistry. One, what is the chemical composition of silver tarnish? Two, what name is given to the energy change occurring when charged particles in the gas phase are packed in an ionic solid? Three, what term designates the breaking down of the three-dimensional structure of proteins by heating or by the addition of acids or alkali? And four, what acid is formed with diasporus when... when Diphosphorus reacts with water, sorry. Answer each of the following concerning chemistry. One, what is the chemical composition of silver tarnish? Two, what name is given to the energy change occurring when charged particles in the gas phase are packed in an ionic solid? Three, what term designates the breaking down of the three-dimensional structure of proteins by heating or by the addition of acids or alkali? And four, what acid is formed when diphosphorus reacts with water? Water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, silver oxide. Two, lattice energy. Three, denaturing. Four, phosphoric acid. You got two, three, and four correct. Bounce back for one. We have silver nitrate. That's incorrect. Silver sulfide. Can someone please give me a tissue? My nose is bleeding. I actually have a tissue for nosebleeds in preparation. Yeah. I get nosebleeds all the time. Too. Thank you very much. Okay. For question number three, Childs re answered the toss up correctly for 10 points and they received 15 points on the bonus, which gives them 25 points for that question. Okay. okay. Ready to go? Toss up number four. <clears throat> Thank you. Name the Russian short story author and dramatist trained as a physician who late in his career moved to Yalta to combat his tuberculosis and there wrote his well-known play, The Cherry Orchard. Hannah? Chekhov? That's correct. 
four part bonus, five points each. Identify each of the following concerning Russian works of literature. One, Russian city, named for the poet who wrote Eugene Onegin and Boris Gudunov. Two, author of Crime and Punishment. Three, novel that traces the fates of Prince Andrei Bolkonsky and other characters during the period of the Napoleonic Wars. And four, Russian city named for the novelist and prelite who wrote The Lower Depths and Mother. Identify each of the following concerning Russian works of literature. One, Russian city named for the poet who wrote Eugene Onegin and Boris Gudunov. Two, author of Crime and Punishment. Three, novel that traces the fates of Prince Andrei Bolkonsky and other characters during the period of the Napoleonic Wars. And four, Russian city named for the novelist and playwright who wrote The Lower Depths and Mother. Okay. Okay, two Dostoevsky, three War and Peace, one St. Petersburg, four St. Petersburg. You got two and three correct bounce. I mean, you got one, two and three correct bounce back for one and four. One uh, Pushkingrad and two Turgenevgrad. <laughs> <laughs> you got one, but not four. What? Four was Gorky. Oh, I should have guessed. Okay. Should have guessed. Um, On question four, <coughs> Charles answered the toss-up correctly for 10 points, and they received an additional 10 points on the bonus question, giving them 20 points total, and Bainbridge received five points on the bounce back. Toss-up number five. Name the American architect who believed in designing structures that were in harmony with humanity and the environment. He was the leader of the Prairie School of Architecture. Hannah? Time. I'll read it. That was an interruption. I'll read it completely for Bainbridge. Name the American architect who believed in designing structures that were in harmony with humanity and the environment. He was the leader of the Prairie School of Architecture. He designed the Guggenheim Museum in New York, and his most famous work is Falling Water near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Amanda? Right. That's correct. <clears throat> Four part bonus, five points each. Identify each of the following architects or architectural decorations. One, large watercolor painting and wet plaster. First Two, decorative designs made of inlaid glass and stone. Three, Chinese American architect who designed the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library in Boston and the glass pyramid that was added to the Louvre in Paris. Four, Virginia architect who designed the Ionic Column State Capitol in Richmond, as well as the University of Virginia. Identify each of the following architects or architectural decorations. One, large watercolor painting and wet plaster. Two, decorative designs made of inlaid glass or stone. Three, Chinese American architect who designed the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library in Boston and the glass pyramid that was added to the Louvre in Paris. And four, Virginia architect who designed the Ionic Column State Capitol in Richmond, as well as the University of Virginia. One, fresco, two, mosaic, three, pay, four, Sullivan. You got one, two, and three correct. Bounce back for four. Or Jefferson. That's correct. <laughs> <clears throat> On toss-up number five, Bainbridge answered the toss-up for 10 points. They received 15 points on the bonus and five points for the interruption, receiving 30 points total. And Childs received five points for the bounce back. Toss up six is a math question. You'll have 10 seconds to buzz in. A central angle intercepts an arc of length two pi. If the radian of the circle is four, I'm sorry, if the radius of the circle is four, what is the radian measure of the central angle? Jeremy? Pi over two. That's correct. Four part bonus, five points each. Answer each of the following math questions. One, fraction equal to 125 to the negative two thirds power. Two, equation of the line about which a function and its inverse are symmetric. Three, log base two of one eighth. And four, 38 as the sum of two distinct primes. Answer each of the following math questions. One fraction equal to 125 to the negative two thirds power. Oh, that's two, that's equation true. of the line about which a function and its inverse are symmetric. Okay. Three, log base two of one eighth. Four, 
38 as the sum of two distinct primes. Okay. Yeah. 1, 1 25th, 2, y equals x, 3, negative 3, 4, 7 plus 31. Correct on all four. Gold box. On question number six, Charles correctly answered the toss up, receiving 10 <coughs> points, and they also answered all parts of the bonus correct for an additional 20 points, giving them 30 points total for that question. Toss up seven. Name the American woman who wrote Going Rogue, an American... Jacob? Sarah Palin. That's correct. She's a maverick. An autobiographical book about her life and politics. And there's a couple more sentences in that question, too. Four-part bonus, five points each. Answer the following regarding female participation in politics. One, New Jersey Republican governor who resigned to serve as commissioner of the Environmental Protection Agency under Bill Clinton. Two, Democratic governor from Texas who served from 1991 to 1995 before losing re-election bid to George W. Bush. Three, New Mexico governor who was the first Hispanic woman to serve as governor of any U.S. state. And four, first woman to serve in a U.S. cabinet position. She was appointed Secretary of Labor in 1933 by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Answer the following regarding female participation in politics. One New Jersey Republican governor who resigned to serve as commissioner of the Environmental Protection Agency under Bill Clinton. Two Democratic governor from Texas who served from 1991 to 95 before losing re-election bid to George W. Bush. Three New Mexico governor who was the first Hispanic woman to serve as governor of any U.S. state. And four first woman to serve in a U.S. cabinet position. She was appointed Secretary of Labor in 1933 by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Um, one, McConnell, two, no answer, three, Gomez, four, Perkins. You got number four correct. Bounce back for one, two, and three. One, Reno, two, Jordan, three, Gonzalez. All of those are incorrect. One was Christy Todd Whitman, two was Ann Richards, and three was Susan, Susanna Martinez. It's all good. Keep for question seven, Bainbridge answered the toss-up correctly for ten points, and they received five points on the bonus, receiving a total of 15 points. Toss-up number eight. We're halfway through. Give the pen name of the author of a new series in which the first book is entitled, Who Could That Be at This Hour? The author's real name is Daniel Hanton. Quest? Lemony Snicket. That's correct. Daniel Hanlor's previous series concerned the Baudelaire children, a series of unfortunate events was the rest of that one. Yes. Four-part bonus, five points each, named the book series, given the name of the first book and the author. Okay. One, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Two, Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. Dark. Three, Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. Four, Marked by P.C. and Kristen Marked. Cast. Named the book series, given the name of the first book okay. and the author. 39. One, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Two, Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. 39. Three, Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. Four, Marked by P.C. and Kristen Cast. 39, okay. Uh, what? No, I don't know any of the others. Uh, for one, we have the 39 clues. We have no other answers. You bounce back on all four. Fantastic. One, mortal instruments. Uh, no answers for two. Things. Well, you got number one correct. Two was Southern Vampire Mysteries, three, Black Dagger Brotherhood, and four, House of Night. Any of those sound familiar? Heard of one of them. On question number eight, Bainbridge received 10 points for the toss-up, and Childs received five points for the bounce back. Toss-up number nine. Name the property of a system equal to the internal energy of the system <coughs> added to the product of the pressure of the system and the volume of the system. Wayne? Enthalpy. That's correct. Sure Four-part bonus, five points each. Answer to the following concerning chemistry. I told you we're having lots of chemistry. One, whose equation allows one to calculate the wavelength for a particle? Two, what property of transition metal ions primarily enables them to form coordination complexes? Three, which of the alkali metals has the lowest melting point in the free state? Four, the delta H of the reaction for burning one mole of C3H8, or propane, is negative 2,200 kilojoules, 200, 
2,220 kilojoules. How much heat is produced when 110 grams of C3H8 is burned in a constant pressure system? Answer to the following concerning chemistry. One, whose equation allows one to calculate the wavelength for a particle? Two, what property of transition metal ions primarily enables them to form coordination complexes? Three, which of the alkali metals has the lowest melting point in the free state? And four, the delta H of the reaction for burning one mole of C3H8 or propane is minus 2,220 kilojoules. How much heat is produced when 110 grams of C3H8 is burned in a constant pressure system? What? I can't understand. Okay, well, one is De Broglie. De Broglie. That's not like that. That's how you pronounce it. Um, the, the name. All right, three is lithium. Oh, I, I got it. I got it. Two is the D subshell. That's Time. not right. Right. Time. Okay, it's you've got one time. correct. Bounce back for two, three, and four. Um, two, we have cordinality. Three, we have sodium. And four, we have 333 degrees. None, none of those are correct. Fantastic. Two was availability of vacant D orbitals. That's cool. my favorite expression. We said D we said the D yeah, we subshell. Said yeah, we said D subshell. Yeah, we said... Uh, you said D... Orbitals. He said D subshell. Or D subshell. I think that should be kind of... Correct. I don't know. Judges? To our panel of judges. These subshell D orbitals? Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm is that, sorry. Is that acceptable? Are you accepting that answer? Yes. Yes. Okay. So three was francium and four was negative 5,550 kilojoules. See, I almost, almost had it. I was just, it's like it's 500. Too much to do with, like, yeah. oh. It's okay. Score. On question nine, Childs received 10 points for the toss-up and 10 points for the bonus for a total of 20 points. Okay. Toss-up 10 is a current events question. Name the movie nominated for an Oscar this year in which an American president... <laughs> Jacob? Lincoln? That's correct. <sighs> Struggles to emancipate the slaves is the end of that one. I don't know what else to think of being. <laughs> Four-part bonus, five points each. Answer the following concerning slavery, slavery and racism. One, name the southern state that did not officially ratify the 13th Amendment to end slavery until February 2013 due to a clerical error. Two, name the state of origin for the case concerning racism and voter laws, Shelby County versus Holder, that was heard by the Supreme Court in February 2013. Three, name the African nation where Robert P. Jackson is the current U.S. ambassador. He told the Bayer regime to enforce laws on human slavery. And four, name the title of the book written by Martin Dugard and Bill O'Reilly that was recent, recently a docudrama on National Geographic. Answer the following concerning slavery and racism. One, name of the southern state that did not officially ratify the 13th Amendment to end slavery until February 2013 due to a clerical error. Two, name the state of origin for the case concerning racism and voter laws, Shelby County versus Holder, that was heard by the Supreme Court in February 2013. Three, name the African nation where Robert P. Jackson is the current U.S. ambassador. He told the Bayer regime to enforce laws on human slavery. And four, name the title of the book written by Martin Dugard and Bill O'Reilly that was recently a docudrama on National Geographic. One, Mississippi. Two, Alabama. Three... What do we have? Molly. Molly. Molly, four, killing Lincoln. You got one, two, and four correct. Bounce back on three. Three, Sudan. No, that's incorrect. Cameroon. Cameroon. On question number 10, Bainbridge receives 10 points for the toss-up and 15 for the bonus for a total of 25 points. Oh, toss-up 11 is a math question. You'll have 10 seconds to buzz in. What is the exact area of a rectangle what, what is the exact area of a regular hexagon whose sides are of length 6? Wayne? Um, 54 times the square root of 3. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Four-part bonus, five points each. Answer the following math questions. One, give the discriminant of the quadratic equation x squared minus 7x plus 20 equals 0. 
2. Name the conic section that might have an equation such as the following. 4 times x to the second power plus 8 times y to the second power minus 8 times x minus 32 equals 0. 3. Find all x between 0 and 2 pi so that the square root of the quantity 10 minus sine of x equals 3. 4. Solve the equation 1 half times the quantity x plus 2 equals 3 minus 5x for x. Answers the following math questions. 1. Give the discriminant of the quadratic equation x squared minus 7x plus 20 equals 0. 2. Name the conic section that might have an equation such as the following. 4 times x to the second power plus 8 times y to the second power minus 8 times x minus 32 equals 0. 3. Find all x between 0 and 2 pi so that the square root of the quantity 10 minus sine of x equals 3. And 4. Solve the equation 1 half times the quantity x plus 2 equals 3 minus 5x for x. I didn't hear it about my Okay, 1 is negative 31, 2 is ellipse. It's just pi over 2 for the it's only pi over 2. Uh, 3 is pi over 2, and what's 4? It's the answer. 4. I, I, I don't know. Just say like 3 halves. I didn't solve it. Oh my gosh, why didn't anyone ever solve it? 4 is 3 halves. You got 1, 2, and 3 correct. Bounce back for 4. 8 over 11. Very close, but not, not correct. 4 over 11. Almost. Mm -hmm. Nice job. On question 11, Charles got the toss-up right for 10 points, and they received 15 points for the bonus for a total of 25 points. Toss-up number 12. Name the other poet that William Wordsworth collaborated with. Amanda? Coleridge. That's correct. How did you know that? <laughs> While walking them. together to begin the rhyme of the ancient mariner was the rest of that. Four-part bonus, five points each. Identify each of the following poets. One. English romantic poet who was engaged to Fanny Braun but died from TB at age 26 before marrying her. Two, English poet who died of malarial fever in Greece in 1824 at age 36 on his way to fight for Greek liberation from the Turkish Empire. Three, English poet whose 1667 Honest Mirabilis described the Great London Fire and the Dutch War of 1666. And four, British poet who wrote a series of poems around 1798 and 1799, collectively known as the Lucy Poems. Identify each of the following poets. One, any English romantic poet who was engaged to Fanny Braun but died from TB at age 26 before marrying her. Two, English poet who died of malarial fever in Greece in 1824 at age 36 on his way to fight for Greek liberation from the Turkish Empire. Jeez. Three, English poet whose 1667 Honest Mirabilis describes the Great London Fire and the Dutch War of 1666. What and four, that? British poet who wrote a series of poems around 1798 and 99, Sorry. collectively known as the Lucy Poems. For one, we have Keats. Two, we have Byron. Three, we have Keats. And four, we have Keats. You got one and two correct. Bounce back for three and four. Uh, three done, four done. Neither one of those is correct. Three was Dryden and four was Wordsworth. <clears throat> On question number 12, Bainbridge received 10 points for the toss-up and 10 points for the bonus, which gives them a total of 20 points for that question. Okay, toss-up 13. Identify the Greek mathematician and physicist that designed innovative siege engines and... For Wayne? Archimedes. Archimedes is correct. And formulated laws about the lever and pulley was the end of that question. Four-part bonus, five points each. Identify each of the following concerning Archimedes. One, town in which he was born about 287 B.C. and in which he was slain during the Second Punic War by a Roman soldier. Two, words completing his statement, give me a place to stand on and I will blank. Three, simple machine being referred to in this quote. If there were another world and he could go to it, he would move this one. Four, his alleged last words to the soldier who found him drawing geometric figures in the sand. Identify the following concerning Archimedes. One, town in which he was born around 287 B.C. and in which he was slain during the Second Punic War by a Roman soldier. Two, words completing his statement, give me a place to stand on and I will blank. Three, simple machine being referred to in this quote. If there were another world and he could get to it, he would move this one. And four, his alleged last words to the soldier who found him drawing geometric figures in the sand. Oh, 
one Carthage. Sit. Okay. Uh, three screw. Uh, two fight. And the last word. Four pie. Bounce back on all four. Oh my gosh. One gall, two stand, three lever, four eureka. You got number three correct. One was Syracuse, two was move the earth, and four was disturb not my circle. Close. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah I remember <laughs> I, that. I got oh that. Oh my gosh. On question number 13, Charles got the toss up correct for 10 points, and Bainbridge received five points on the bonus. Toss up 14. Give both the Latin and the English for the initials A.D. used by historians Jeremy. Addo denomini and after death. That's incorrect. I'll read it completely for Bainbridge. Give both the Latin and the English for the initials A.D. used by historians to designate a period of time. Jacob. And your Domini, year of our Lord. That's correct. Four part bonus, five points each. Give the Latin and the English for each of the following abbreviations. One, NB. Two, AM in reference to time. Three, PM in reference to time. Four, DG. Give the Latin and the English for each of the following abbreviations. One, NB. Two, AM in reference to time. Three, PM in reference to time. Four, DG. Bounce all four. Bounce okay, all bounce four. Back okay. For One, nota bene or note well. Two, ante meridium or before noon. Th uh, three, post meridium or afternoon. And no answer, four, four. You got one, two, and three correct. Very good. Uh, four was Dei Gratia and by the grace of God. Oh, oh okay. On question number 14, Bainbridge received 10 points for a toss up, and Charles received 15 points for the bonus. Okay. Toss up 15. Name the U.S. president who wrote the following, A Remarkable Mother, Hornet's Nest, a novel of the Revolutionary War, and the first fiction novel written by a president, Blood of Abraham, the little baby snuggle fleaser written with his daughter Amy, and Chris... <laughs> Jacob? Jimmy Carter. That's correct. And Christmas in Plains was the end of that oh, one. Oh, man, Georgia. Oh, jeez. Four-part bonus, five points each. Name the U.S. president or first lady who wrote each of the following. One... PT-109, two, my turn, three, an American life and where's the rest of me, four, Millie's book. Name the U.S. president or first lady who wrote each of the following, one, PT-109, two, my turn, three, an American life and where's the, best of, the rest of me, and four, Millie's book. Who's the, who's the first lady? Give me the first lady. Who's Reagan, Nancy Reagan? I'm not sure. It could be. All right, we have our answers. One, Kennedy. Two, Laura Bush. Three, Nancy Reagan. Four, Nixon. You got number one correct. Bounce back for two, three, and four. Two, Roosevelt. Three, Roosevelt. Four, Roosevelt. None of those were correct. <laughs> two was Nancy Reagan. Three was Ronald Reagan. And four was Barbara Bush. Oh, wow. They're all recent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We on question number 15, Bainbird received 10 points for the toss-up and 5 points on the bonus for a total of 15 points for that question. Let's keep playing. Do we have a total? Oh, that's the game. I do, but I'd like to check my math. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Anybody want to hum the Jeopardy thing? Survey says. Uh, um, it was not Picard's flute. <laughs> Childs won the match. The score was 180 to 135. Good game, both teams. While the teams are shaking hands, uh, l let's congratulate them one more time. I heard some, some pretty outstanding answers. I think what I was most impressed with, it took Dr. Leach a minute to read the question, and they answered it in less than a second. That, that's very impressive.
Uh, before we um, you know, hand out the trophies and awards, I'd like Dr. Henderson to join me on stage here. And I'd also like uh, Mr. Dean LaBeouf to join me on stage. He's been a longtime sponsor of this event for us. And I'd like to give him the opportunity to speak to the kids or the parents if he'd like that. Thanks. Well, Brooks LaBeouf, Bennett Foster, and Gordon, he is proud to sponsor the Brain Bowl again this year. It's been our honor. And I'll tell you what, when you guys graduate from law school, please uh, send me an application. <laughs> And for the teams that didn't win, we're just so proud of all the schools that have participated. I want to remind everyone that our firm also sponsors the Freedom Scholarship, $2,500 in cash for the best essay on the Bill of Rights and what it means to you as an American. Deadline's coming up, so please submit your essays. We really support education and congratulate Childs and Bainbridge on a great job. Thank you very much. Okay, before we um, hand out the trophies and the, and the checks, I would like to thank Lincoln High School for being our host for the entire tournament. Uh, they did an outstanding job, and I just want to thank them. Um, on behalf of Envision Credit Union, I'd like to ask Ms. Nicole McDonald-Ryle to join us on stage. And also, I'd like to have Dr. Paulson. He's the director of this event. He needs to join us up here and, and help congratulate the Bainbridge Bearcats. If y'all would step out front, center front stage here with your principal, Mr. Howell, and your sponsor, We'd greatly appreciate that. I'll give you this, Dr. Henderson. Ms. Riles, I'm going to turn the mic over to you. And uh, on behalf of the Envision Credit Union, we, we'd like to have you say a few words for us. Um, just want to say, um, you know, supporting education has really been one of Envision Credit Union's staples and core values since our inception in 1954. So we really just want to congratulate you guys on all of the efforts and all of the work, because I know it's hard, um, and uh, congratulate you on um, all of your accomplishments through this Brain Bowl competition. So congratulations. And Dr. Henderson would like to present the trophy to the principal or the captain or the coach, whoever would like to accept it. Uh, thank you so much. I would give you the mic, but I know you like to talk. <laughs> Let, let's give him another big round of applause. <laughs> now, if the child's team would, would take center stage, And Miss Jeannie Booth from the Tallahassee Democrat. On behalf of the Tallahassee Democrat, we are proud to be the host and the coordinator for um, the Big Bend High School Brain Bowl. We've been doing this now for 35 years, and it is always an honor to um, award academic excellence in our community, not only in Leon County, but in the entire Big Bend region. And we are pleased to congratulate Childs High School on their um, win today and to become our 2013 Big Bend High School Brain Bowl champions. Congratulations, Childs. And Dr. Henderson has a trophy for somebody. Once again, on behalf of all of our sponsors in Leon County Schools and our superintendent, Jackie Pines, we thank you so much for watching this show and attending this event and look forward to seeing you again next year. Thank you.